What up, everybody? You want to learn how to draft? Let's go. All right, here we go. Mass score is pretty good. Honestly, I think I'd probably play this in like most decks. Um, that upkeep cost is very real, but uh, that's something you can play around for sure. guys are taking their time. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> if you guys have been watching my last few videos, you'll see that um, I've drafted a Kethic, I think, probably every, every one of these last few uh, drafts. White seems to be open, though. Which is really good. Um, I think I'm going to pass this up for... Something. Honestly, the Zealot is really good. Is it good enough to take over the Flimsing Raptor or the Attendant, though? It's a great question. It itself is a 3-4. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually better than a lot of these other things. I'm going to take the Raptor. I think Flimsing Raptor is just better. And Sizer Glider is really good, too. It's a Geth. Geth's okay. Uh, kind of bad sometimes. There's another Flimsing Raptor. This might actually be our chance to finally play white. I think I might take that raptor. <clears throat> There's better combat tricks. Um, I mean, unless we end up going hard on like, uh, you know, Boros, Four Mirrored, and equipment stuff. But I think for now, I want to take double raptor. Yeah, we've talked about Microsynth. It's not the best. Um, I mean, you got to be playing pretty hard into the, uh, the artifact deck for sure, and like blue and white. This card might be okay. Lattice Blade Mantis is decent. Canopy is okay too. Um, not a lot of good stuff in this pack, really. Um, if we end up going, like, black-white, like, this could be okay. It's hard to say. Um, if we end up going blue-white, that's not exactly, like, a, like, an infect deck of any kind. Um. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing with this pack. Actually, yeah, let's take the rare. Might as well take the rare, since there wasn't really anything else that I really wanted out of that pack. And Seismic Glider is good. Um, Scourge, also really good. We end up going, uh, like, white-black. So, Basilica Skull Bomb's good. Um, and Sizer Glider, obviously, is, is really good. As long as you can activate the, the Corrupted, you get that online. <clears throat> Slow Bad is always, in this format, just a 3-mana, three 3-3. Three, three. Um... I don't know. I think I want the glider, though. Let's take the glider. Ooh, Apostle of Invasion? I've been wanting to draft this forever. Um, blue is kind of open, to be honest. But, I mean, when you talk about bread, like th this is a bomb, for sure.
six mana four four with flying honestly is like good enough value on its own but when you have double strike it like it comes down it blocks favorably against like most things in this format and then i mean if it gets to swing it's it's basically guaranteed eight damage in the air like that's going to close out games Rasko's Falls okay. Um, trying to decide if, if this is worth it. Lightbringer gets 1 1 as long as it's equipped, has built in protection. Rasko's Fall. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm not like a huge fan of Rasko's Fall, but honestly, I, I could see us playing it. Siphoner is really good. Actually, this is kind of the deck that uh, I think Siphoner belongs into. Either uh, white, black, black, green. It's really between that and uh, the Basilisk, Predation. I'm going to take the Siphoner. I could easily see us going white, black this game. Um, Let's see. <clears throat> I really don't see us playing this Lightbringer. I'm going to take the Hunter Maze just in case we end up playing... No, I'm going to take the Curator. We end up going white-blue. We could go... We, like th This combos the, these two cards. Um, but it's like, do I want to take this now that we have Testament Bear and might be playing black? It's a really hard question. I mean, this this is a sweet combo. I, I'm going to take the against all that's against my better judgment. Um, skull bomb or skull bomb, skull bomb, canopy. I'm going to take the blue skull bomb. I think that card's pretty good on its own, honestly. Uh, crushing canopy. If we end up going green, sure, we'll take that. Black skull bomb. I'd like to see that. And throw a possibility. Okay, another coaching microsynth. Uh. Yikes. Um, affinity for artifacts. Creatures you control get 2 1 until end of turn. And it's an instant. Uh, indoctrination attendant is good. Infectious Pite is really good, but I don't know if we're even playing green yet. I think it's between the Attendant and the Siphoner. I think I'm going to take the Attendant. I've seen a lot of games get stalled by this card. Necroskeet is really good. Just cards, okay. Annihilating Glare. A black removal could push us into playing white-black, but uh, Skitterling, <clears throat> I don't see us passing this. Yeah, we'll take the Skittling. We should be able to get Corrupted online pretty easily. Here we got White Skull Bomb, Complete Devotion. I like that card. Scourge is really good. Hive Master is really good. Um, <clears throat> got a lot of good options here for sure. I think I gotta take the devotion. Yeah. That's gonna push damage through pretty easily. Ooh, duels to deep faith? For sure. Conviction's good too. Um Yeah, I got some good options here. Let's go ahead and take the duels to deep faith. Feed the infection's good. Incisor glider again. Very good. Fleshless gladiator. Uh yeah, let's take the glider. Yeah, let's take the glider. I'm pretty sure we're going into white and black now. Flesh Cutter is solid. Uh, Enforcer gets 2 as long as you control artifacts. So that's an artifact synergy deck. Uh, again, designed for white blue. Inquiry is okay. Um, I'm not going to take any of this over the Flesh Cutter, honestly. I've seen Flesh Cutter pretty much win games on its own, too. So. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start moving some stuff to the sideboard. Um, we're really not going to be playing green. I, I don't think we're playing blue either. So we'll take those out. Dang, wow. We're just getting past so much good white stuff here. Um, wow, what do we what do we take here? It's it's really between the glider and the charge of the mites. Uh, I mean, charge is removal and it's dudes. Can we? Yeah, we gotta take charge of the mites for sure. Man, I'd love to see multiples of these, but uh, this is I mean, this is pretty much like a like a, a B plus rank A card, honestly. Just ridiculously strong in this format. Like it makes artifacts. It like makes artifact dudes. It removes things like you can sack the the creatures to Skitterling, Necro Titan. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Necro Titan for sure. Like you can sack the dudes to the ne Necro Titan if you want to. Like if you just want a Necro Titan in turn four, like your, your opponent's not corrupted yet, or even if like you, I don't know. Uh, turn two duelist turn three charge of the mites make the dudes and you swing in you get the three poison counters now you just get a, a free four minute six six i don't know i, I think it's OP. um i mean th this card's not like super OP on its own but you build around it of course so you can see uh everything except for white and black is open <laughs> according to this pack um yeah let's take the prologue centurion another skull bomb um, Centurion's really better for, like, the Rakdos decks. I think I'll take another Skull Bomb. I think this card's good. It's hard to say if it's, like, main deck playable over, like, a lot of other things, but, um, I mean, like, in this deck so far, it's the only one drop that we have, so playing it on turn one and then, like, I don't know, turn five or something, being able to, like, sack it to, uh, get back like a Necro Titan or something is like so strong and it like replaces itself. So you draw a card. We'll never play Duress. We'll take the, uh, I don't know. We'll take the Uncommon, I guess. Helps out overall with, um, like completing sets and stuff. Or like, you know, filling the vault. Got a green Skull Bomb. Is that? Okay. I was going to say, there's no way that's like another one of those like blue rares. I mean, it is, and it's, it's worthless in this format, but, um, let's see. Annihilating glare is fine. Um, I don't know if I want to take it over the rare though, to complete my, uh, to complete my, my like four ups. Um, I don't know how greedy can we get with this. We don't really have a lot of hard removal. I think we gotta take the Annihilating Glare. I mean, it's a great card, you know. Uh, Blight Belly Rat's really good too. We're gonna pass another rare for that though. Um, ooh, Planner Disruption and Annoy with Affliction, dude. What? <laughs> uh, White's pretty open. Although I don't think this card's going to come back around. Let's go and take the Anoint. It's hard to pass on like such good removal. Um, I mean, it gets your uh, your toxic creatures through late game. You'll have your opponent at three poison counters, and it's just it becomes two mana hard removal. Uh, logbook, not going to play that. Um, man, there's a lot of good stuff coming around. I think we take the uh, Shepherd, probably. I don't know if we want double Skitterling. Yeah, could probably take the Shepherd. Dorkadine. All right, nobody's playing white red. Got another Charge of the Mites. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Charge of the Mites. We'll catch up on these rares when we go like seven zero. Hope that's not famous last words. I think we take one of these out. Reskus Fall, definitely not going to make the cut here. Acre Plate Golem, for sure not. Uh, Mirror Kinsmith. I don't know. 
Raska's fall might make it. Let's see how the rest of these uh, pulls go. Oh, what do we got? Got a Dross Pits. That's cool. No the black cards, so I think people are playing black in this uh, in this draft. But not black green, apparently. Yeah, we'll take the Dross Pits. That's fine. Yeah, got a Porcelain Zealot. Uh, Crawling Chorus. Also pretty good, actually. And do we... I mean, this gives us a one drop. I'm trying to decide how much I prioritize that over this four drop. It's going to get corrupted online pretty fast. As long as we curve it. If not, I mean, we sack it to Skitterling, I think. Ooh, another Duelist. Ooh, Sinu Dancer. Dude, what? Wow. Uh, yeah, Sinner Dancer is really good. Um, yeah, all right, we're going to take the Duelist. Oh, I hope I didn't make a mistake by uh, passing up on that Sinner Dancer. Um, maybe we'll play this. I don't know. Like the bottom of our curve got really good really fast. I might take a Vanish. Honestly, I think Vanish is like better than people think it is. Um, Whisper of the Dross is also good. I think Whisper might be better. Yeah, let's take the Whisper. Played it on slot. That came back around. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Don't think we're gonna play pretty much all of those. Um, doesn't really matter what we take here. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I feel like this deck's gonna be really easy to craft now. Um, so we need to cut like we're gonna cut a land for sure, and we're gonna cut three other cards. So, uh, Ken Smith, absolutely no way we're playing that. Um, everything down here is good. I don't think we're going to play this, because honestly, at 5, I think we are going to go ahead and just play this. Um, like, th this one's the game. Uh, I guess this kind of helps when we're, like, a little more behind, but, like, when we're ahead, this is going to close games. Um, I, I can already tell. Against all odds, we don't need this anymore now that we're not playing blue. Um, trying to think of like what else. Yeah, I mean, this is the deck for sure. Like this, this deck is gonna be sweet. Um, unless we get like really unlucky with our lands, I think that uh, we're gonna do very well this draft. Um, cool. All right, let's get some games in. All right, here we go. That looks like a curve to me. Let's do it. I'm excited to see how this uh, crawling chorus on turn one goes. It's gonna be sweet to be able to get like uh, hopefully two or three poison counters for this incisor glider early game. I'm trying to decide if I want to anoint the watcher, it would keep them from being able to draw the card off the die trigger because it exiles it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Trawler Drake. I'm going to assume that the opponent doesn't want to lose that, so I'm going to go ahead and go to combat and swing in. They are okay with losing it. That's like that's like the best trade because th this thing can get big depending on what your deck looks like. Wow, I can't believe the opponent traded that. That's That's crazy. Okay. Yep. Hybrid's pretty strong. Scheming Aspirant, pretty good too. We gotta get our opponent down, or up to three poison counters for this Apostle. Um, everything in our hands like basically five mana or more. We can Annihilate and Glare. One of those creatures. It, it's not gonna be good enough though. 
Well, why don't we go to combat and uh Yeah, honestly, I don't even think that we uh I don't think that we we swing cuz this incisive glider is probably better blocking the hybrid than it is swinging for one point of damage. Yeah, but I got their fifth land. It's skull bomb. Okay. They're just gonna cycle it. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, we really needed to land there to get that mass decor. Um that's alright though. No tax. Gotta get our opponent to those three poison counters. Okay, listeners here from the opponent. Don't let them scry a few times. Feed the infection. So they're just gonna lose the three on that one. We we won't lose three since we didn't have the poison. A siphoner. Um it's not bad. Let's go and play it. And no attacks. As soon as we get a fifth land, we're gonna be able to drop this master core and start removing everything on their field. Discard a card. Let's get rid of the annihilating glare, I guess. the duelist. <clears throat> and no attacks. Synthesizer from the opponent. It's gonna be really good for them. Why are you playing Mind Spice Apparatus? Why? Why is anybody playing this? Yeah, we'll just take the five on that. Sorry. Rather than sacrifice a creature, they'll probably get rid of the glisteners here. Yeah, they're gonna keep that one card on top. Yeah, let's just get in for two. <clears throat> got a feeling the opponent has like one or both of the Twilights in their colors. That's gotta be like the only reason why you play that apparatus. It only reduces the cost of instants and sorceries, and uh, in limited, most of the cards that you're playing are going to be creatures. I mean, sure they had like the feed the infection and the prologue, but it's like, like look, I mean, the opponent's got seven lands. It's like, what are they doing with the discount anyway? Yeah, I'll take five more. Um, we're gonna have to do something here soon. We gotta get a land. It's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, okay, so there's the land. Now we get the master core. Very excited if we can swing all in here. <clears throat> the opponent has one card in hand. They're hovering over it, acting like they have something important in their hand, but it's probably just a land. Um, we we just need to get our opponent corrupted, I think. So if we. We swing all in, the opponent's gonna go. They're gonna block our might, they're gonna block the duelist with their, their two ground creatures, and then flying, they're gonna 
block with the hybrid on the siphoner. So we'll lose two of our toxic creatures. Yeah, none of the toxic's gonna get through. That that's the real problem. Um let's just keep on swinging in. We'll let the massacre block the uh, Grimnark if it comes down to it. Otherwise, um on our upkeep, we'll discard a card. Short target non land permanent and opponent controls the mana value less than or equal to the mana value of the discarded card. So Grimnark is CMC six. Okay, they're just gonna annihilate and clear the mass core. That makes sense. Oh man. Um Assuming with the anatomist too. Yeah, I mean we got a jump block here, I think. Uh yeah, no blocks on the other uh, the anatomist. Yeah, we'll just play Shepard. And then... Swing in for one. Maybe we just double block. Hope our opponent didn't top deck the removal spell. <clears throat> yeah, there's no way to get these mites through. Um, I'm just gonna swing in for one more. And then uh, we'll Play the Apostle. Man, I can't believe how hard it's been to get the, uh, the Corrupted online. I mean, I feel like... I mean, we had this crazy sick, uh, like, Corrupted deck where we just had, like, a lot of early game toxic creatures, and, um, I don't know, I guess it just didn't curve out that way. Okay, so they proliferated, drained us for two. You now the Synthesizer can get in for... Uh, for three, for free. Okay, yeah. Brutal. Yeah, the opponent just got it. I don't know why they're only swinging at that one creature. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and concede, because the opponent should be smarter than that. But, um, yeah, let's go into game two. This is basically fine. Um, we have options to play the Crawling Chorus on turn one, and then we can also play some like uh, combat tricks and stuff on turn two if we need to. It's like blue skull bomb from the opponent. Let's go ahead and play the crawling course. The our opponent has the turn two. If not, then we can go ahead and basically take the turn off by playing the Dross Pits tapped. They got a Glistener's here. That's fine. I think I am going to go ahead and just play this untapped and then we can swing in, get the the one point of uh, poisoning. Or we can just remove the seer. And we can draw a card, so. It's definitely helpful. And now on turn three, if we don't top deck anything important, then we can just play Dross Pits tapped and not lose that tempo. Okay, let's get a thing from the opponent. I think we can trade with that thing too. Let's go ahead and uh we're gonna play this thing tapped. We'll swing in. The opponent's probably afraid of uh another complete devotion. It's just so hard to make that decision to not block because like Honestly, if you get that first poison counter, I mean, your opponent can just proliferate and, and get it up to three for the corrupt, uh, corrupted if they need to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing, nothing to proliferate. That's fine. 
And then we get a mite. Play Skull Bomb. Pass it back. Hopefully we don't have to play this Onslaught just to have our might trade with something else. But that is a play I'd consider making if, if we needed to. Yeah, we don't have any poison on our opponent. That's crazy. Um, I don't just have the Crawling Chorus. Nothing else really important to play here. Let's just um, we'll activate the Skull Bomb and then we'll play the Crawling Chorus. We got a duelist, that's good. And no attacks. Alright, so that's the card we chose not to play. Let's see if it's any good. Yep, I'm just gonna get in for three. That looks good. We have a Necro Titan. Really, we could just sacrifice the Might if we wanted to. It's hard to say. Um, we could also just trade something up for that Zealot. I think we might do that. I'm actually just going to play the Necro Titan. We could have traded one of these 1 1s for that Zealot with the Plated Onslaught. Problems we wouldn't be doing anything else. I'd rather uh, be contributing to the board here. Plus, second the crawling chorus, um, we can get another might, which is another artifact, which is going to make the plated onslaught cost less. Yeah, I was thinking hard about this one. Although I guess the opponent could just bounce the necro titan from the skull bomb. Yeah, okay. So they're just going to do that. That's fine. We're at 12. Yeah, let's just go to combat. We'll swing in. We'll trade for that lookout if we want to. And then... Follow it up with a uh, duelist. Okay, so opponent's just gonna let us have the two poison. Why don't we... Um, let's play the duelist and the skitterling. This is going to make the Plated Onslaught a little more impactful on the next turn. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, Skitterling can no longer sacrifice our creatures. And we'll take six. Ooh, we got Apostle. That could drastically change this game. Let's just go in for some more combat. Get some more uh, Toxic in. I don't mind losing any of these creatures, uh, especially not the mites, because um, this apostle is going to come down being a 4-4 four -four with flying and double strike. So we'll play this second main, and hope our opponent doesn't have any more removal, because if they do, then I guess we just lose. Is it too little too late? Not yet. Okay, so we have Anoint with Affliction, which can now exile anything we want to. 
why don't we go ahead and do that? So we'll anoint the anatomist. Plated onslaught is an instant, so let's just go to combat and we'll swing all out. If they don't block like anything, then we just win. In fact, if they only block one thing, I think we still win. Yeah. Is that is that game? Double strike plus two plus one in the air plus the mites. Yeah, good game opponent. Wow. Wow, that just completely flipped. Um I mean we went from basically being dead in one turn to hard blocking like everything that they could swing with and then just swinging for like what was that 20 points of damage on the following turn that was nuts basically unplayable we're gonna keep it we're gonna hope that we draw into a, a planes um worst case we play siphon on turn two get in and proliferate with the whisper of the draws anchor bloom yep Okay, so there's the planes. We are going to play with Siphoner. Yeah, okay, opponent gets in for three. That looks good. Tainted Observer, that's fine. Let's play land, go to combat, and swing in. Bonus while we're going to take it. Yep. So, that's fine. Let's play incisor glider. And we'll pass. We have Whisper of the Dross if we need it. Um, could be that we block the Canker Bloom. Depends. Depends on if they like tap out for anything. They might just sack the canker bloom to destroy the incisor glider, because it's it is an artifact. That tainted observer is gonna do a lot of work though, I think. Um We'll go to blocks and we'll block the observer. Gonna hope they don't have anything for the uh, the glider here. But I'd really prefer to. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Um, yeah, that's fine. A little rough to lose the incisor glider, but at the same time, I'd kind of rather that the titanic growth happen then uh, rather than deal four points of damage to us. Ooh, viral spawning. That's good. Okay, no land. That definitely hurts. I can hold on to complete devotion to pump up the siphoner enough to kill the observer. And we also have Whisper of the Dross if we need it. Just really rough that we missed that land because uh, we could have used it to play the attendant, which I might like to be able to do. Okay, well, we can do our combat tricks here. Let's do complete devotion on the Siphoner. That is toxic, so we'll draw a card. There's our land. And let's see if this works. We'll proliferate, get another poison counter on the opponent. Cool. All right. So, we're not corrupted, so the opponent's not going to be able to um, flash back the viral spawning. They gotta get three poison counters on us first. Um, I don't think of how I want to do this. So we can indoctrination attendant if we want to, and get a free might out of it. We don't have double white for plated onslaught. Or to play the flesh cutter and swing with a creature. Play Necro Titan, but we don't have the the corrupted 
online. So I think our best bet really is to just play the attendant. And then we'll we'll bounce the swamp. Feels a little bad to put ourselves behind like that, but um I mean if if we don't get another land anyway, or even another planes, it's not really gonna matter that we bounce that thing back to our hands. Unfortunately, the opponent is going to be able to put a poison counter on us. We got to find something to handle this tainted observer for sure. Copper long legs um, has the ability to proliferate here in a minute. Okay, there's the planes, so we can get corrupted online. I think we do this now. Okay, Canker Bloom can destroy the Might if if they want to. But if we swing all in, then we're gonna be able to get uh, we're gonna be able to get corrupted online. It really depends on how they block, but um, they'll leave the Canker Bloom up, huh? Okay. So yeah, we I mean we have to do this now, for sure. But um, the opponent is going to be able to activate the Canker Bloom and kill the mine if they want to. I just don't know if that's the trade they want to make. Okay, they chose not to, so that's fine. We got our opponent up to the three poison counters, which is really going to help with Necro Titan and other things that we play. Plus, that did really help with our position here. Um, we're going to be able to get some more effective swings in, I think. Okay, we're now corrupted too, which means that the opponent can flashback viral spawning. They get a 3-3 a, a three, three out of the deal with Toxic, and they can pay 2 to proliferate. So we're up to 4 poison now. We are... We're at 10 life. Cleansing Raptor's good. I'm glad we got that. But, um... Try and decide if we'd rather play that, or the Necro Titan. I think we'll play the Necro Titan. So let's go ahead and swing in. We'll swing in with both. We're not going to block with the Siphoner. <clears throat> okay, I think I want to kill... What do I want to kill? I want to kill the Canker Bloom. Okay, second main. We'll play the Necro Titan, and we'll play the Crawling Course. Opponent's at 4 poison, 13 life. We have a really good blocker here with the Necro Titan, um, but the opponent could remove it. They have options to like bounce it in blue. In green, they could pit fight with something, but I'm not sure what they'd, what they'd pit fight. I mean, I don't know what they'd pit fight with, is what I mean to say. Okay, we're at 6 poison. We're getting dangerously close to losing this game. How do we want to do this? To play a flesh cutter. We swing with the Necro Titan. The opponent's going to be able to swing for five, six, seven in the air. Actually, well, no, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do this. We will swing with the Necro Titan. But we're only going to swing with the Necro Titan. We're basically going to try and prompt a block here, uh, which. Is going to help in future turns, but okay, so they're just going to take the five. So now if they swing all in, we will, we will win. 
But it's, I mean, it's 100% up to the opponent on how they want to handle combat. This Raptor is at most four power. It, it can become four one. Because if they activate it more than three times, it'll it'll kill itself because it gives plus one neg one. So in the air, they have access to seven damage. They can swing with their three three, but we'll block with the crawling course. We're going to be at eight poison. So if the opponent can proliferate two more times, then we lose. We top deck a land, we can double Flensing Raptor, which should be enough to win the game. Top deck a non-land, it's going to depend on what we top deck, because, I mean, we could just get removal to handle the Raptor and we'd be fine. This is a very close game, though. I mean, it's it's five to six. Uh, they can proliferate the one time here. And then... Okay, so, yeah, land... Flensing Raptor. can only hit creatures with toxic so we're just gonna we're just gonna basically double double flimsing raptor put them on our mites swing all in I think is that is that enough so we're gonna have to block the necro titan for sure and then they take one two three four wow this is close Yeah, this is really close. Um, so they basically go Cultivator on the Necro Titan. Raptor blocks basically a Might. And then they take one, two, three, four points of damage. They swing back in with the Raptor and the Tainted Observer. Can they win? If they have, I mean, a single creature, then it'll come into play. They'll pay two for the Tainted Observer. Yeah, this is this is super close. So, I mean, if we if we swing with all the Mites and the Necro Titan, then we can still we can still block with the Siphoner. Yeah, let's go and do that. So, yep. Cultivator blocks the Necro Titan. Raptor blocks a Mite. They pump the Raptor. So we lose the Mite, but then they take three points of damage. And then on the backswing, we block Raptor. Okay, yeah, good game. Wow, that was close. Oh man, we were one point of damage away. This is pretty good. Um, I mean, we for sure have like, you know, our curve and stuff. Um, got plenty to do. A little light on the removal, but the charge of the mites might be able to help with that. So that pestilence siphoner is going to guarantee the, uh, the first poison counter on us. Anchor Bloom, it's good. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I might just um, swing with the Duelist and then play Charge of the Mites. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll play Charge of the Mites in the opponent's turn. That goes through. Take four, we're at 15 and two poison. Light belly wrap from the opponent. Looks good. Okay, we'll play charge. Great. Two mites. Trying 
Try and decide how I want to do this. Uh, we could just play Necro Titan uh, if we swing all in. Kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's go and do that. Okay, that resolves. Opponent takes three points of damage. They're at three poison counters. We'll play Necro Titan. We don't have to sack any creatures. And we'll hope that our opponent doesn't have any kind of hard removal for the uh, Necro Titan. It's like he played the Seed Core. Uh, once we're corrupted, they're going to be able to turn that Siphoner into a 3 2. I feel like this card's like playable enough. Um, you kind of need a good amount of mites, though, I think. Wow, the opponent just conceded. We weren't even close to winning. I, yeah, that's crazy. I guess they didn't have anything for the 6 6. Yeah, this hand is completely unplayable. We don't have, like, anything. Um, let's go ahead and mull that. This is way better. Um, do we get rid of the Shepherd? I think we do. I mean, we're just gonna have a handful of two drops. Is that really what we want? Maybe we get rid of the Siphoner. I don't know, I feel like... <sighs> Alright, let's get rid of the Shepherd. I think we're going to play the Siphoner on turn 2. Hopefully that'll be enough to get uh, the opponent corrupted. And then Incisor Glider comes online and makes Duelist into a 3-3 with first strike. Okay. Incisor Glider from the opponent. Uh, everything just went out the window. <laughs> uh, let's just play Duelist. Now if we top deck a, f uh, a Flensing Raptor, then we can turn Duelist into a 3-3 with flying. Honestly, we might even just be able to swing with the duelist. Depends on what our opponent plays. Oh, never mind. Cool. <clears throat> well, um, let's play the Siphoner. Now, if we don't topic any, any swamps, our Whisper is still online, kind of. Well, I think we are going to whisper the adaptive while their while their uh, shields down. So let's go and do that. We don't get to proliferate anything, unfortunately, but we do get to be satisfied knowing that we handled a one mana one one. Okay, hover wings. That's good. Creatures of flying that are equipped. Yeah, creatures that are flying that are equipped get one zero. Oh. No, the creatures. It doesn't matter if they have flying. It just gives the the, the equipped creature flying, and then equipped creatures get one one. That makes sense. Uh, we can't swing, so we're gonna go ahead and pass it back. This apostle might be fine enough as a four mana or as a six mana four four with flying. And then if we ever somehow get our opponent uh, corrupted, then it's just gonna completely take over the game. So. Grab one? You know it. Let's get rid of that land. Thank you. Mirror Custodian. Garbage. Don't ever play this card. Giving your opponents advantage of any kind? It's not what you want. Alright, here comes the Apostle. Coming in hot. Yeah, Basilic Shepherd. Looks good. Uh, I decide if we want to like double swing or if we just swing with the apostle. Apostle dies if they double block. That's the real problem. So, oh, I don't know. Let's just do no tax. If they hadn't played that Basilic Shepherd, then uh, we definitely would have swung with the Apostle. And if we get the Apostle online... Uh... What, it does six? Yeah, that's really good. Oh man, Charge of the Mites. 
So good. Okay, scrap gorger. That's gonna keep us from being able to reanimate. Yeah, I think we're gonna just block the shepherd. Might be going two and three this uh, this draft. <clears throat> oh man, Cinder Dancer off the top. That's awesome. Honestly, we might as well just block the mites here, because if the opponent gets uh, Cinder Dancer online, then it's not going to matter what we do in our following turns. Um, we take six? Yeah, we take six. Land off the top. Dude, opponent. Good game. Cool. <laughs> Raskus Fall um, doesn't do anything here, I don't think, because they sack like a mere custodian. And we. Yeah, we definitely lose this one. Good game. That's alright. We went two and three. Um, probably had a pretty good deck, but uh, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we needed some more like removal. But uh, I, I do strongly believe that white black is one of the stronger color pairs. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to link another one of my videos up above. So definitely make sure to go check that out. Obviously, like and subscribe. You guys know I'm going to ask that. Um, you know, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow night. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.